so, you know, we saw the writing on the wall um, four or five years ago. Um, solar prices were coming down. Um, there, we, we looked at ways to improve the performance and therefore the economics of our existing turbine. Um, we studied that for about six months and then came up with a number of minor improvements. But there was nothing that would um, allow us to compete with where solar was and where we saw it going. And so we decided to take a completely fresh look at the system architecture, I'll call it, but the way in which they work. And in a wind turbine, the blades, the alternator, the control systems, the electronics all have to be integrated. It has to work as a, as a complete system. And we essentially abandoned the recipe that we'd been using for 30, 30 years, which had been successful, um, but could no longer compete in that, that new, new uh, economic reality. So um, we got a little funding from the Department of Energy, and we spent the last uh, little over three years uh, developing a new product. Uh, and the, the new product is a 15 kilowatt turbine which is 40% um, more efficient, 50% uh, lower in energy costs, therefore half the payback period, and about 60% quieter. And we're very excited uh, to be launching that this spring, and um, we expect to be able to compete with Chinese solar modules. We get this question quite a bit. I'd like to, uh, uh, there are some, some customers who are not happy with their utility company. Um, and they would like to disconnect, but it doesn't make any sense for them because the costs of adding battery and backup generator storage to provide the same kind of power reliability that you get from the utility company would more than double the cost and double the payback. And then there's the maintenance and upkeep issues. Um, these systems operate in parallel with the, with the utility, and as you say, they are a supplement. They're like a, a negative appliance. They're an appliance that puts power into your household wiring rather than consumes it. Uh, and at any given instant, the power that's produced by the wind system is either going to be used immediately in your home or farm or business or sold immediately to the utility at rates that are determined by federal law and by the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. The uh, IRS requires, in order to qualify for the investment tax credit, uh, certification to a national standard by an independent agency. And so we are about um, two-thirds or three-quarters of the way through that certification process and expect to have that completed uh, in the uh, March-April time frame. We're in the best position of anyone in the industry because we're the market leaders in the segments that we serve. So, And with the new, new product, which is more advanced than any of our competitors around the world, um, we feel real good about that. Uh, we buy, just an interesting metric, we buy goods and services from a little over 200 companies. And we're quite vertically integrated. would be happy to show you around. Um, we take in raw, raw materials. We do machining, welding, painting, assembly, build blades, build electronics. And uh, we'll continue with that kind of vertical integration. Uh, so we have, you know, companies all over Norman and all over o Oklahoma City who, who supply materials and services. It, we're very appreciative of the leadership that Tom Cole, uh, in particular, um, on, on this issue. Uh, for the last couple of years, he's been doing uh, everything he can to, to help correct the imbalance of the tax credits. Uh, and he will be, our, our trade association uh, is um, the Distributed Wind Energy Association. We have our annual meeting uh, in a few weeks in Washington, and Tom will be receiving our Legislator of the Year Award, and I get to present that, which is an honor.